try again. Cold. Cold, yeah, it's a lot colder now, isn't it? Uh, I'm not going to be able to get much done today because um, we had to wait in, didn't we, for our son to come back from America. So uh, this is my present I got. Quite appropriate for Father's Day, I'm guessing. Um, obviously, I've noticed a few of you commented on me last few videos. I've not got back to you because it's been... um. Bit of a strange and uh, bizarre week this week, um, which I'll tell you a bit about in a moment. And then after that, I've uh, got a quick little review to do on a couple of little things we've purchased, and I'll show you around um, something else I've built. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, how stuff has grown since the uh, since the last video. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So, see you in a minute. I just thought I'd uh, let you know what's going on this week, um, on Tuesday of this week, which would have been the 13th, would it to the 13th? I can't remember, 12 or 13, it was Tuesday. Um, my daughter noticed someone acting suspiciously over there. So, without me van in the way, um, in, the, in the tree line over there. Um, yeah, over there. Uh, I'll just take you over there and show you. So that's where the guy was standing, just there, facing the trees. And my daughter thought he was a bit suspicious. So she's called me, uh, my other daughter, Samantha, and they were both looking at him out the window. And um, he turned around and see him. So he then proceeded into the bushes over there. In there. And you see the grass is all still down. Uh, and uh, he then crouched down be behind the bushes here. And he kept popping his head up and uh, looking at him. And he went down for a few moments, and then he come back up very, very slowly, naked. My and my, the human wang is a beautiful thing. He just stood there naked. Now, at the time, the daughter was then in the upstairs window, trying to see where he'd gone. And he was just looking at her. And then he pulled up his trousers, and then proceeded to march out and walk towards our house, which is that one over there. So by now, the, uh, the wife was alerted, who was reading her Kindle at the time, um, as the, uh, the, the two daughters were um, giving a running commentary of what he was doing, and she found it funny. So she's now a run out, they've locked the door, and she's here, stood here, peeping. And he comes right to the door, and starts trying the door handle. So she's hid behind the curtain, watching. And uh, my youngest is now on the phone to the police. Um, you know, as, as you would be hysterical, uh, asking for assistance. Uh, and then Jazzy, which is our bitch, and there's Ollie, <laughs> which is obviously the uh, the big brave male. He's got a squeaky bark, but she's got a big old woof. So she gave a big old woof, and he backed away. So the wife watched him go, and the next minute, he's here at the side window. And then she watches him go down, and she obviously presumes he's in now our gate. And then from our gate, he then goes across and then tries the next door neighbor's gate. And then she watches him once he can't get in there, and he then tries to get in next door, uh, where obviously the, our next door neighbor has uh, seen him approach anyway and uh, has got her baby and locked herself in the kitchen and then he's looking at her through the kitchen window and then he then goes she then sees him go to the, the next door neighbor's house and then he tries to gain access to that house and he does this uh, a few times and then he goes and he disappears in that direction just disappears off so uh 
The doctor uh, obviously lets the uh, dispatcher know that um, he's now gone. So she then asks if he still wants a policeman, which is quite strange, because obviously you still do. So she says yes. And um, he then proceeds to come back another two times over the space of about an hour. He does the sort of same thing. But on the third time, he comes back, lets the rest of his clothes from where I showed you, and then disappears. Uh, on each occasion, my daughter's phoned up the police and said, he's back, he's back, he's back, he's back, he's back. And uh, on the third time, they said, uh, basically, we're going to... I, I don't know, because I've, I've not listened to the, to, to the transcript. I'm going on what the daughter said, but apparently they then said on the third time, we're, we're, we're sort of, um, I don't know, along the call or dispatch or, or whatever, which is, which is quite strange. But anyway, the policeman turns up two hours after this, after the first incident with the guy breaking in. And... Uh, the policeman comes in and says, so what is it? We've seen a naked man. Of course, then they're telling him, oh no, he's been trying to break in. Uh, which he's not got the message. Right, so they'd have been here in numbers, obviously, with the with the blue flashing lights. Um, and that's, that's that, bizarre. So here we have a little garden home um, chair with a uh, detachable bag underneath. Uh, Kim got this off of Amazon. Amazing. Amazon. Uh, it's obviously primarily the stool, but it come with a free bag and tools. It says it's got a, a lifetime warranty. Now, I would have thought that would be on the chair and not the tools, because... Hmm... She get mad if she hears me throwing them around. Uh, these are the tools that come free with it, but I can't see them lasting. Seriously, can't see them lasting at all. Uh, it's all right, something for nothing, I suppose. I mean, look at that. I am bend them now. And that. So, not a bad little selection of tools. Um, obviously, for use with the... Uh, Softer soil, soil that's been rotivated, I suppose, because that'd oh, probably be alright in there, but obviously, a lot of the other soil, these things are just going to bend away. So, that's uh, Kim's little thing, so she can uh, weed to her heart's content sitting down. Not bad. I do like the idea that the, uh, the obviously the bag detaches, and obviously, she's got room underneath for her. Uh, the bits and bobs and gloves. It's not a bad little purchase. Nice little lamb. Um, nice little addition to the allotment. Okay. You get some use out of that, won't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? I don't know, it's going to get dirty, isn't it? Right, let's have a uh, little, little wander around. Um, obviously you've noticed that I've uh, pulled the last of my garlic up. Uh, a lot of them had the old snotty nose. Um, snotty nosed uh, white mold um yeah these were sort of the best of but I, I, I don't know i don't know they seem okay these ones but a lot of them are really bad we also had the same with the onions the big onions that we had over here i noticed a, a couple of them had um collapsed and i thought oh they're ready to pull and it, it, it just completely no root base on it pulled it out completely white full of snotty white mold um, so we then went on and pulled them all out, and uh, the majority of them had white mold on them. So we gave them a, gave the best ones a good old clean up, store them to dry, and we'll see where we go from there. But... What's the police about today? Yeah, so uh, we'll keep monitoring the onions. Um, they're all up there for the moment. But as I said, the majority of them have gone in the bin. I can show you a couple in a minute. 
And then um, I've got loads of these pots. There's not one in there, is there? No. Uh, I've, got, I've got about 150 of these that I managed to get from work. They, um, they had all mushrooms in them. Um, so uh, once the mushrooms are distributed to the to the uh, to the people that need them, um, I acquired all the the trays and uh, measured it all up, built a frame, and then realised that me measurements were obviously wrong, and I've had to get it to squeeze them in. But yeah, I thought uh, we could get the rest of the noisy motorbikes now. It's all going on the day. So that'd be okay for uh, the rest of the lettuces. So the iceberg lettuces in them. So we'll see, we'll see how they do. Like I said, we've got more icebergs down the, down the bottom. Um, but you know, fighting for a bit of space. So uh, yeah, that's the latest addition uh, using my woodwork skills. Just got to get right on the measurements. Hmm. Other than that, the uh, cucumber's coming on. Got a nice cucumber growing. Gonna be a bit of a whopper. Yeah, these are these uh, trays. I've just used them there just to keep that um, cucumber off the floor. Uh, get them a bit straight. Cause we don't like the big curly ones, do we? Um, yeah, nice straight cucumber. Should be nice. Uh, Kim's decided to repot all her melon plants. As I was talking to her the other day, you know, it's just not things that we purchase anyway as a melon. So, you know, having one or two grown, but you no, know, she just went mad. So we got um, melon, 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 melon. One we've put in this greenhouse, one there. Are. And then we got melon, 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 melon. It's, it's the same with the beetroot, but I'll say take it down and see the beetroot in a minute. I mean, why do we need all that much beetroot? It's nice to have a bit. But no wonder we're fighting for space to put things in. Uh, this is the stuff we've got to repot on. So this is the sort of last of it. That's the uh, rest of the icebergs. Um, as I say, too many. Too many. Uh, but this, these lots here for a, um, uh, a couple that we've got up here. Um, that we said we'd grow some things from seed from on. And um, they've had uh, something going on in the family, so they can't take them yet. So we just have to repot that on. But that's that. That's this sort of greenhouse sort of um, on top of things now, which is getting good. Uh, I'll take you into the other greenhouse. Uh, I used a couple more of these, obviously these pots, to um, get the rest of the um, uh, spring onions in. Uh, they seem to be perking up, because obviously they were... A, you're looking a bit poorly in the in the other greenhouse in their original little tray uh, i've got another iceberg going in there still got tomato plant tomato plant tomato plant and tomato plant so we've got to repot them and then we'll be taking them home uh kim's watermelons are coming on nice again in here another two watermelons how many is that now how many how many weeds you count it's a fair few i'll put the number up on the top of the screen top of the screen be a number uh, but yeah, we, we're coming along quite nicely. So, what do we have here? We have a sieve with a rotary thing on it. Look at that. So that should uh, make life a bit easier, as I noticed in uh, some of the comments, especially Kev. You know what you wrote. So, um, yeah, so you won't see any more of me uh, shaking my booty and uh, giving myself a damn good workout. So hopefully this will make life a little bit easier. So let's, uh, let's give it a go.
bad. It's not going to get um, everything out from the bind weed, but. Have a go, Kim. Is it easy? Yeah, come out this side then. <laughs> oh, so cold. I'm going to get my jammies on. So it's not purely friendly then. I think that's good enough. Yeah. Have a look at him. Just um, st little stones, isn't it? And it's a vine weed root. Which will come back, but not bad. All in all, not bad, I suppose. Um, certainly a lot easier than that other sieve. And um, plus you won't see me moobs shaking about. Or I won't have to put a girdle on, will I, Kev? Is that what you said, the cheeky kid? He did. You bloody cheeky, Kevin. Coming from him. So all in all, gets a thumbs up from me. to fill one of them buckets up over there of all the nice soil. What? Fill one of them buckets up over there. One of them of all nice soil for when we do our boxes and that. So you're asking me that, leaning back now, so you're asking me to fill up one of them buckets, them big Water yeah. Me. Yeah. You found it easy enough, didn't you? What? If I shovel it, you spin it. Yeah. Well, we'll see then. Yeah, you shovel, I spin. Not bad. Right, uh, is that us? If you don't want to do nothing. We've just got to walk wrong. Yeah. They don't want to see me water. It's a bit of a different video today, obviously um, the majority of it taken up with, the, uh, with, with my recreation. Couldn't get any good actors to uh, play the parts. Um, no, nobody wanted to recreate it. Well, obviously that happened last Tuesday, it's a Sunday today. They haven't caught him, in fact we've heard nothing, nothing back. So, uh, yeah, he's still out there, so be on the lookout for a naked man who then tries to gain entry to your home. Apparently it's not a priority. Well, no, so um, we'll catch you later. Hopefully we might be able to tell you, give you an update. Hopefully they'll be caught him by then. By next week. So, uh, yeah, he's open. So have a good one and stay safe and keep them front doors locked.
you're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened to then? Past that. When? Just now. We're at now now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Just leave her here.